my guys. As you can see, I have a completely bare face. I am going to film a makeup tutorial using my beautiful Modern Renaissance palette. But before I start filming my eyes and just going through everything, I know that I wanted to do a more in-depth eyebrow tutorial. So I chose to film that separately so that I can use that as a separate video and just cut time on my videos because I don't like long videos. Two ways for you to do your eyebrows. One, I use the brow definer or I'll use a the dip brow pomade. So first things first for both actually. You're gonna go and brush up your hairs. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Brush them up, see? Mm -hmm. Now I have some pretty thick eyebrows already, but there are just some certain areas where they're very sparse which is fine here because they're supposed to be a little more sparser, but for me, they're just a little too sparse. And then I also have some eerie areas around here that just, just need some help. So first up, after you brush it up, you're gonna go and outline the bottom. See how it already looks so much fuller? Outline the bottom. Maybe I should have tweezed my brows for this tutorial. After you outline, I normally brush it up just to blend so I can see too if I need a little more or not. Like I said, my eyebrows are already naturally thick. Then I feel, oh, they're kind of cute, okay. But I'm gonna go through and outline the top here. And go for this top part here, you see how it's so bald because I don't know why my mom would let me do my eyebrows at such a young age. But yeah. And then just fill it in a little. But always use your brush to blend it out. <laughs> And then I like to lightly go in this front area here. Each eyebrow looks good. See? I know I look so weird without makeup. Then I'm going to go in now for this eyebrow. So same thing. Brush them up. This is my Anastasia number 12. Love it. Can you see it? Super thin and super easy to maneuver. Now for my dip brow, this might be, oh no, it's not dried out at all. I hardly use it. I only use it for like the Chicago Salsa Congress when I really, really want to slay. I'm actually gonna outline from over here back just because I don't want to start dark in that front or it's going to look way too unnatural. See already? Ooh. And then same thing. I mean, you can brush it out a tad to blend that in. And same thing. Let me see. Do I need a little bit more? Sure. A little bit more, a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. And same thing for the top. I'm really weird. I like to go against the hair for the top on this one. But same thing. Um, brush strokes. Or hair like strokes. And then you can also just go ahead and fill it in. Cute. Now moving on to the front. There's probably still some left in here. So I do not go and dip it back. Instead, I just lightly tap. And then give myself some hair there because I got a really bad ball spot. Maybe like even the mouth because for some reason one of my eyebrows goes this way and the other one that way. They're not cousins. 
Oh, the other way around. They're not sisters, they're cousins. Then both finish them up with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love everything Anastasia. I'm like their number one fan. And it also helps that I'm a pro member, so I get a good discount on a lot of their items. Cosmetologist perks. Then brush them up, brush them up, and set them. See how much prettier, what a difference. So a lot of people do um, clean up their eyebrows, but I never feel like I need it. I don't know. It makes them look more cleaner, so I guess we can try so you guys can see what it looks like. But again, never feel like I need it. So I'll just clean it up on the top here to make it look more cleaner. By the way, this is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight. It's actually a dupe for the brow definer. Same thing, clean it here. This bottom part I don't mind doing because I'll essentially bring this down and use this as my primer. And I'll literally grab my beauty blender and just blend that in. Same thing for the top. Blend it up. Did it make a difference? Hmm, I don't know. For some people it does, but cute. All right, so here's an in-depth on the eyebrows. Don't mind my no makeup face. I'm gonna give you a sleigh later on. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys in five more minutes when I record the other video. This is the brow definer, not the brow whiz. All right, we're starting over. Start with the dip brow. Ugh, so confusing. This one's the, the brow definer. All right, so which eyebrow? This is my favorite eyebrow. It always comes out so fleek. Like, how do I explain it? Bro, like stroke it. Don't just like, mm, mm, mm. Cause then it's just gonna be harder to blend. So for this, ooh.